Well, you heard some of those things that I was involved in earlier uh, mentioned by Janie, including the knowledge link system at Pacific Bell and the uni Apple University virtual campus that was designed. One of the things that was really key to all of that work and to the work at MIT's Organizational Learning Center was this notion that, just like Janie puts it in the overall success of any reform is a reflection of support it receives, that the currency of that support, the most important currency of that support is feedback. That feedback is the, 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 el the quantum semantic element, the raw material that's flowing between all the different participants. That's what regulates the learning. In fact, at that time, um, I put this together in the form of a series of laws that it might be helpful for everybody here to understand. That, that just as she was saying about the success of any effort, you could say that the success of any program, any product, any process, any relationship, anything, any systemic anything, that the effectiveness of it depends on the volume, the scope, and the detail of the feedback that's informing it. That the volume, scope, and detail of the feedback that, that's, that flow is it kind of inversely related to how difficult it is for the people involved in a system to give feedback. And that the system's ability to learn from this feedback that it gathers is directly related to how well the people that are responsible for different aspects of performance are encouraging and supporting and getting that feedback. Right? So one of the things that's at the core of modern organizational learning science is how do you put into place in the layers of infrastructure, in the layers of people relationships that are at the core of a system, how do you build in this kind of feedback? Now the reason that I got interested in this, and all this will connect to my main story here in just a few moments, um, the reason I got particularly interested in this is that my whole life work has been about how is it that we um, steward the interior participation health of our children's learning. As if the most important thing that we can bring forth in children is the healthy interior um, learning that's going on inside of them. And that, so if we're concerned with the design of a system, and we were concerned with how is it that an organization learns and how do we connect organizational learning to individual learning, then what we end up with is this place that uh, I initially called the stutter, the stutter point. Right? A stutter is this involuntary dropout in participation and engagement. Right? Every stutter in the flow of somebody's learning is the ideal interface point for, for helping that particular person learn and for the entire system that's enveloping that person with resources to help them learn. The closer we can get to that point, hmm, the more effective everything can be. From an individual's point of view, you could say that every stutter in the flow is a, is a place which, if it was reflected on, disambiguated, differentiated, clarified, it's the best possible source of internal information about what's not working about where the dropout's starting to happen. So the more that we can help children kind of get in touch with that, the more that they're actually connected to their internal resources in a way that can really help them. On the other hand, if we're concerned with how is it that we cost optimally provide the resources that will have maximum effectiveness in terms of supporting the learning of children, the best possible source of intelligence we can have is understanding where children are stuttering in relation to the anatomy of what we're providing.